Okay, good day to everyone. The IVI Color Program has three major goals. The first is to ensure supply of the current OCV, which originated at IVI, and we do that through support to manufacturers and through new technology transfers. We also seek to improve cholera vaccines, particularly with regard to the under five uh, efficacy, as was discussed earlier, um, but also flexibility of use. And then finally, we work with countries to generate evidence on impact and best use of OCV. So with the limited time, I'm just gonna give you updates on a few of the ongoing projects. So next slide. Under funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and in collaboration with UBiologics, we're exploring a reformulation of the oral cholera vaccine. So OCV contains five distinct components. There's some redundancy with regard to the O1 components. And then of course, O139 was added. So we asked the question, could a simplified formulation containing only two components and inactivated by a single method be equally effective? If this change is uh, uh, effective, it will reduce the cost to produce vaccine and also increase the production capacity of any of the manufacturers. So back in January 2020, we held an independent technical expert group meeting to review this proposed change. And we followed that with consultations with regulators, both at the at national level, as well as the WHO PQ team. And both groups found the rationale for making the change uh, acceptable and logical, and also endorsed the clinical development plan. So next slide. So currently we have in progress a phase three trial, a multi-center non-inferiority trial that directly compares the simplima simplified formulation we call OCVS uh, to Shankal. The trial is ongoing in Nepal, Enrollment began in October, and if there are no further disruptions, we expect to have the clinical study report in the first quarter of 2023. Next slide. We're also working with collaborators at Harvard, USNIH, and New Biologics on the development of a new cholera vaccine. About half of cholera cases and deaths occur in children under five. And unfortunately, as, as was described earlier, OCV has a reduced efficacy in children under five, and a single dose has no efficacy in that age group. Consequently, it's not ideally suitable for delivery through EPI to young children. Current WHO recommendations suggest redosing OCV every three years. So back in 2017, IVR held a consultation to discuss preferred product characteristics for next generation cholera vaccines if we consider um, how we will ultimately really uh, reduce and stamp out and eliminate cholera. And the notable suggested improvements for next generation vaccines were higher efficacy in infants and young children, longer duration of protection, lower cost, and single dose. Next slide. Now we know that conjugate vaccines like PCV, Hib, and now typhoid can elicit long lasting protection in young children, even with a single dose. Um, we, uh, and a vaccine that has high efficacy and longer duration of protection in young children can be cost effectively incorporated into EPI, reducing the burden of repeated vaccination campaigns and building population immunity from the youngest age group up. The cholera conjugate vaccine under development has been shown to be protective against cholera in an animal model and is expected to be producible at a low cost. So our current status is the preclinical development of this new vaccine is complete and the investigational new drug, drug application is under review with an NRA and currently we have conditional approval for a grant to uh, fund the phase one clinical trial. So we're optimistic that the first in human trial of this vaccine will happen in 2022. Next. Moving on to field work, we're working with partners on multi-year projects in three countries uh, with the overall goal of strengthening cholera surveillance in each of the countries, assessing effectiveness of OCV campaigns or different delivery strategies in different settings and supporting NCP developments. If you click one more time, in Nepal this year, we've launched a national zero survey and initiated enhanced surveillance in the Kathmandu Valley. After two years of surveillance, we'll assess a case area targeted intervention in collaboration with Johns Hopkins 
Um, we are also going to be working with the government to enhance surveillance capacity in a rural western region called Kailali and possibly also conduct a preventive mass vaccination in that community if the surveillance supports, uh, supports that. Next slide. In Mozambique, sorry if you click one more time, I put animation in, I probably shouldn't have done that. The project targets enhanced surveillance in hotspots in Nampula province with an effectiveness analysis planned following a vaccination campaign in 2023. And next slide. The similar project in Ethiopia, where we have a vaccination campaign planned for 2022 uh, and an effectiveness evaluation. So next slide, I think that's the end. Thank you for uh, allowing me this time to share our ongoing work at IBI and happy to take any questions.